Hello, I'm Anthony Evangelista here with Steiner Sports, and I'm here with Jets legend and famous member of the New York Sack Exchange, Marty Lyons. How are you today, Marty? I'm doing great, Anthony. How are you? I'm great. Okay, just a few questions for you. So you were paired with Mark Gastineau, Joe Klecko, and Abdul Salam, and arguably one of the best defensive cores of all time, although the record didn't show. Now, uh, what was it like playing with these greats? Well, you know what? We went into every game, and it wasn't a matter of whether we were going to get to the quarterback. It was how many times. You had guys that had outstanding speed on the outside. You had Mark Gasno, You had Joe Klecko. Abdul and I, we tried to tie up the middle. And you had a, a, the back seven did an excellent job. And, of course, our defense coordinator did a, a great job putting us in the right place to come up with the big plays. Okay, thank you. Um, now, something that people may or may not know about you is that you won the uh, Walter Payton Man of the Year Award in 1984 for the uh, Marty Lyons Foundation you established. Now, uh, what, why did you create this foundation, and um, what do you feel it's done on your career and your legacy? Well, I think every time uh, everybody's going to be challenged with different adversities in life. In 1982, my uh, oldest son was born on March 4th. My dad died on March 8th, suddenly, of a heart attack. And a little boy that I was a big brother to died on March 10th. So in a matter of six days, I went from the ultimate high to the ultimate low. And I kind of ran, and I kind of said, why me? And then all of a sudden, you realize that this is a part of life that you can't run from. And I used the platform that God gave me of being a professional athlete to help those that were less fortunate. So I took my mission was to take wishes for terminally ill children and make them become a reality. So we still operate 36 years later. We've raised over uh, $35 million, and we've helped over 7,500 kids. So I think it's important for everybody to realize that you can make a difference in this world that we live in. You don't have to be a professional athlete. You just have to take time to care. That's very nice. Okay, next question. Uh, you work as a radio analyst for the Jets. Now, why did you want to get into sports radio and how? Well, you know what? When I retired after the 90 season, I had an opportunity to work with Cablevision, with, work, work with MSG, to be around athletes, to be around the game of football. Um, I started off slow and worked my way up. I found that, number one, being a former athlete here in New York, it keeps you visible. And number two, if you enjoy something, then you're going to spend more time preparing for it. And I love the game of football. I love the Jets organization. I've been a part of it for the last 39 years, and now to be part of the radio team for 17 years, uh, I've learned to respect the game more. I've learned to respect the players more, and I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly with the New York Jets. And believe it or not, Anthony, I was part of some of that ugliness. So I'm hoping that one day that they can come back and you know throw that Vince Lombardi trophy up and be uh, – a winner of a Super Bowl. Okay. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining me, Marty Lines. And uh, this is it. That's back to you, Bruce.